Gorilla Tech Swamp update has been out for a couple days now, and you should know everything. There's a brand new swamp map in the game, and there's many secrets to this. Along with the flashback, and a lot more crazy features. Uh, now, if you can't play because you're drowning in school or have multiple exams, I'm here to tell you five things that you missed in Gorilla Tech's new update. If you've been living under a rock, you won't know that there's a brand new swamp update. In the competitive city, if you head down here, there's this... Oh! Why can't I get through? Bruh. As you can see, this is one of the many secrets that is added into Gorilla Tech Swamp Update. Something really weird is going on here. I'm also here to answer some of your wake. I'm also here to answer some of your wake questions. Why? How is Lucy in this game? Oh, one of the biggest ones. Why you haven't subscribed yet? We're so close to 200k, so I'd really appreciate it if you dropped the sub. Now let's start off with number one, the swamp. Well, the entire map itself. A lot of people don't know what this is, and they kind of call it buggy and bad. This is the exit, and yes, all the rest of it is gone. Everyone thought we were going to get a base update, and we really didn't. We've seen these before in the cave revamp when they blocked it off. Going all the way down the swamp, you can see that there's a blocked off exit. Now, I put that in myself, and this was in the game files right here. As you can see, you can't walk through it at all, and it seems like they were going to block off the entrance. Now, it seemed like they were going to hint at it, and basically you could try to get in, but it was going to be just like map and just like caves when they blocked it off to do a re Van. But inside here, hold on. You can see that there's a swamp map and they didn't block it off at all. There's one thing to know with this tunnel. It is a beta map that they just released to the public. In the game files, it is called swamp, but it's also called rotating. So hopefully we get more fan-made maps. And maybe competitions for players to make some maps. It would go well with the point system, like the community picks and the team picks. One more point system so it makes it even in the voting. Another thing inside the swamp is actually if you go to the computer, here to the computer, you can see, well, the map is called rotating. You can't join any other thing, but when you do, you can join four somehow. They're actually inside the map right now, glitching through the map. And no one can tag them. At first sight, you won't see a lot of things, but in the swamp, there's actually many things that you need to look out for. One of the main things is Doug the Bug actually in the ground, and this isn't actually Doug the Bug that you can pick up and move. Huh? I'll get to this in a minute, and what he's actually used for, and why he's there. Don't leave me here! Now there's lily pads right here. Oh. See, these lily pads right here are super bouncy, and it's one of the bouncy things in here. What you might have missed is you can actually hit the stem and go flying. This is me on the top flying up, me hitting the stem. Also, I could be wrong, but this grass right here kind of looks like the original texture that was in, well, the first Gorilla Tech updates. And I'll put that on the screen right now. There's not much else to note about this map except, well, number two, the glitches. Water just being there. To not even being able to climb vines. A floating campfire. Like I said, the map is unfinished, and Doug the Bug kind of looks like he's in the ground. If you come over here and you actually grab this Doug the Bug, the wings will close. But as you can see, he's actually on the lily pad, and you can't really move him at all. Going to pick him up is useless due to, well, it's it's not going to work. Bruh. It's really cool because they're using these for decorations and props. Another one of the worst glitches is you can just walk through some of the items and almost get out of the map through literally anything in this game. If you come up here and see this floating tree, you can, well, hit off of it and you can go like this to it. Basically, you can go under the tree and, well, now you're disguised as a tree. And you can climb out of it and it takes some practice, but you just putting your head inside this crevice allows you to bring your head. This allows you to bring your hands inside, and now you're just... But the thing is with this is you can just fall straight out of the map, and it kicks you. Oh! As you can see right now, I'm just... And you can actually grab the ropes. But the ropes aren't what they seem. I caught onto this, but did you catch on to, well, this thing just cutting apart? But jumping into it, you can actually make it cut fully apart. Look at that. It doesn't even work. And this is the case with all of these. You jump up, you grab it, and you're just a floating thing in the air. This isn't more of a thing, but something you did miss is if you're all the way over here, the grab radius is always right here. So no matter where you're at, this green thing is the grab radius. So any crevice you can find, these and you're just inside the tree now, and you can just fall off the map. Now one non-glitch is actually these zip lines. They actually work really well. It doesn't move, it doesn't do anything, it actually it works well. Except the fact that this one's not connected. You can still grab these zip lines, but this just isn't collidable. It makes for a pretty cool launch. If you hold on, you actually go upwards. Outside view is pretty weird as well. It's literally just launching you. Yes, there's a lot of glitches, but it's the beta map. This Doug the Bug right here, which you can grab. This other floating Doug the Bug. As you can see, using no collide, this is also the same one on here. And if you try to grab it, you just can't. Every map in the game. Now, you see, I go into these maps, and it's extremely dark everywhere. Like, there's no lighting added to the game at all. It's kind of creepy, and I would love to make a horror game out of this. Just alone, I can't see anything, and people... Just alone, I can't see anything, and if I go into public lobbies, people can't see it either. Super dark. Is it super dark out here? No. You just have your contrast stuff. Oh. Huh? You can see force is extremely creepy. And the fire's not on, so that means it's daytime outside. Using this mod right here that I found, clicking every button does not work at all. Changes the color of the sky, and that's about it. Changes the color of the... Wait, I just fixed it. Yeah. Fixed it, as you can see, the campfire was off, and it was daytime. Now I'm gonna take Doug the Bug into the... What the heck? 
Oh, what the heck? I tried to put Doug the Bug in the swamp, which, well, I can't for some reason. Uh, it just despawns. Now, I don't know why this is, and basically, if you can tell me how to fix it, uh, because it just broke again. Uh, super crazy. These stuff stands out, and the lights stand out, but everything else just has no light. Yeah. Now, I do mean every map, but caves is kind of an exception because, well, it's underground. It is light here, here, and almost everywhere, so it doesn't count for this. All right, map the bat. Let's go to swamp. Instead of Doug the Bug, you're going to swamp. Oh. Now, as you can see in forest, it's literally cooked with no lights at all. You can't even see the crack in the ground, which I'll get to later. You can only see and the lights and the lamps. It's kind of cool and it would make a really, really good horror game, but it's literally realistic gorilla tag without any lighting or nothing. Is it dark for you right here? No, why is it dark for me? Dark for you? It's in city. New maps in city and the competitive course. Because I didn't see anywhere. It is extremely dark and you can only see zip lines and, well, random stuff. Is it dark right here? What color is the ground? Wet. And as you can see, you can just pick up the snowballs from the abyss. Like, far the weirdest thing that ever happened to me in Gorilla Tag because, well, you can't see any of the lights. Like, can you even see me? Oh, wait. How about now? Oh. The weird thing to note is with this glitch comes, well, you can only see the cosmetics. But not only that is... The cosmetics are reversed. Right here, it's empty. empty. As you can see, I can click nothing and I don't get any cosmetics. Usually I click right here and the bubble blower shows up, but it's actually on the opposite side. Again, Gorilla Tag, please add a horror game mode. This game mode is so cool and it honestly makes the game a lot more fun. Really cool if you get a flashlight and basically shine it around the map. Maybe even the monsters drop stuff like this behind them so you can actually see where they're at. Bro, this sunset got of play. Just looks like a shadow and there's literally nothing here. Now this glitch happens every time I log into the game and it's just a big shadow with a white ocean. One map this doesn't happen in is, oh no, is the clouds map. It's completely bright and everything's normal, which is really weird. Also considering that the balloons don't work at all. One of the worst glitches I've experienced in the game and it's really, really awkward. And just to make sure, this map isn't, this map isn't dark for you, right? Get on to number four. As you can see, my eyes aren't blinking at all. When I talk in game, my mouth isn't moving either. Bruh. You have to hop onto the computer, go inside of a lobby, once you're in, speak in game chat, and basically you will be talking the entire time. Now, number four is small details. I don't like the mouth moving thing, there is tons of sprites. But if you didn't notice that the eyes are always closed. But in the game, it actually talks lower and your mouth isn't as open. Unless you're screaming in the game. Coolest things to be added to the game because, well, our mouth is moving and you can actually see when people are talking. And now it's starting to melt and what will we get under here, we have no idea. It can right here is it says dungeon basement with maze too. So this could be we get a different maze and it kind of looks like dungeon crack and dungeon cracker toy. There's that, well, this is no idea why this is, well, doing what it is or how it's doing what it is. Because it is flying all the way up here. No, I did do this and I found another cool thing in the game. You can actually get snow barricades from last year. This is all I removed these and didn't really put them back. So they should have added because, well, it's super bright. Arguing back against that is, well, this is the first maze. So I started mixing potions, getting stuff together to get tinies. Here we go. And this isn't really a small detail, this is pretty big detail. Uh, number five, which has almost nothing, is, well, the cosmetics. You see, Gorilla Tech has this thing. It says the flashback hut is snowed in. Now, if you go to the second floor, as you can see, there's 2022 and 2023 stuff. Something you missed is actually this isn't the full set of 2023. It is everything from the 2022 extra winter thing that did not come back. This is, well, this right here. She completely threw the ground for I don't know what reason. All of them are just underground for, uh, well, I don't know what. This one was more like three things that you missed, but if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe and do, you know, everything that they say at the Again, but different. If this doesn't land on fireworks, well, the video will end.